Measuring time is really hard work. You might not get a day off in weeks. When I knew that I needed to build a bulletproof buggy, I knew that I had to call in the experts, Al and Andrew. Al, you got any ideas? Yeah, that's my ideas, I like. Ah. <laughs> ah, my cheeks are <laughs> That's about a 14 metre difference. Lock her on. Oh, look at that. If you're as good as that in the kitchen, you are marriage material. <laughs> Get back to work. <laughs> With all the work that Terrain Tame is doing, I'm really hoping that this buggy will be as strong as it possibly can. Mount Isa, mustering work. Bull buggy required. Do you want to go to Mount Isa, bud? Hey? We go to Mount Isa? Yeah. <laughs> go back to Queensland? I know the bloke. Let's give Al a call. Pretty fish over right? look at that. Top of the class. I'll be promoted to kitchen hand if I keep this up. It's hmm, pretty good, you know. We're gonna look nice and smell nice. All I need. <laughs> See, I miss you guys. Incredible. A lot of memories there, but. Hello. Hey Al, it's Jess. Jess? <laughs> Bustering? Bull buggy? I'm oh, just going to ring me on the phone. Oh, I was absolutely flat out. I've got other things to do than take phone calls, but dying to help her out there. That was great. See you soon. We're back. We're back. Come <laughs> on. Come on. Harder to find. Oh, gonna get to it. Yes. Now, yes. Bull buggy. A oh, horse and mustering. I'm in. Whereabouts? See you in a couple of days. See ya. Andrew's always up to something wild, so when I called him, I had no doubts that he'd say yeah. Great. I was up on the top of a mountain just checking out where we're going to be mustering when Andrew rocked up. Oh, I was bloody keen to get up here. I mean, let's face it, anything that puts the city in the rear vision mirror is good for me. Uh, love, love travelling around. G'day Jess. Hey Andrew, how you going? Hey, good, good. Oh, fancy meeting you here. <laughs> yeah, my pleasure. Where's Al? Pleasure. I don't know. I didn't pass him on the way in here, so... 
thing where you did say he was going to make his own way here, but... Oh, well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah, so this is the animal, is it? Yeah. What so, a weapon. Yeah, BJ70. Bit old school. Oh, nothing wrong with old school. <laughs> Good platform to start with. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Speaking of old school, yeah, have a look at that. At <laughs> last. <laughs> His idea was all this. No wonder he took a while to get here. It's all, all that bill from Melbourne, I gotta tell you. Uh, the thing's trying to kill me. Where's your training wheels? <laughs> oh, training wheels? I don't know about that. I, you can ride it home, I'm told about it. <laughs> okay, so this is the buggy. Yep, that's you the one. Know all about it. She's a beauty. So now I've seen your bike, I think I might take that mustering. Yeah, I'll swap you any day, <laughs> don't worry about that. Just make sure oh. it's downhill. So this is a vehicle, what are we gonna do with this? We're gonna... I think the most important part of building a bull buggy is having a, a decent vehicle to start with. It needs to be tough, and I need to be able to go across some pretty rough country, so. I mean, if you start with something that's rubbish, you're gonna end up with something that's rubbish. You've got to have a, a reliable, robust vehicle to start with, and then you improve on that. You're gonna cut the back of it off, are you? Yeah, into a bit of a ute. It's a neat job if we take it off behind the v pillar, I reckon. Yeah, right, there's some bars on it. We can put some bars on it for a bit of protection. Yeah, I'm excited to work with Jess again. Gosh, yeah, I jumped off the chair when she rang me. I love to sort of sort out a lot of things, and. Um, Teach you a few things and learn some things from her, particularly in this uh, mustering thing we're doing. I'm not sure what we're heading into. It's definitely old and there is a few things that can be improved. If it drives all right, does it pull to one side or brakes all right? Um, the brakes need a bit of work. Okay, we'll do the brakes and the, what, the tyres, you're going to change the tyres. Yeah, yeah. The lower it is, the, the less chance of it rolling. Okay, so we've got our workout out for it. Is this tonight or tomorrow morning? We get stuck in it tomorrow, what do you think? Right thinking? now. Right, right now. <laughs> <laughs> it was great working with Jess last time. Really looking forward to this. She's a fast learner, it's great to work with. And this time I reckon I'm gonna learn a lot of her, actually. I've never done any mustering before. So the next couple of months, I've got 20,000 head of cattle to move through here, to the yards over there, process them off the property, and I'm in this. Very good, cracking good. My vehicle's been running like a dream since the last time that Al and Andrew helped me with it, so I knew that I had to call them when I had a mustering buggy project. Coming up on the next episode... What we're going to do now is we're just going to do a simple brake test. Well, we travelled an impressive distance before we stopped. What we're going to do is we're going to replace the rotors and the calipers. Are you undoing those wheels in a star pattern like you were telling me last time? What I tell you and what I do is two different things. With all the work that Al and Andrew are doing on this buggy for me, I'm really hoping that it's going to be as bulletproof as possible. We're doing on this buggy for me. I'm really hoping that it's going to be as bulletproof as possible. <laughs> 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 <laughs>